<laughs> Good morning, Chris. Thank you for joining me for this conversation, um, which is in, in celebration of International Day of Persons with Disabilities and Purple Light Up. So today I wanted to talk to you about why Shaw Trust choose to celebrate the economic contribution of employees with disabilities. What does it mean to Shaw Trust? Well, we we choose to um, you know celebrate uh, Purple Light Up um, with Purple Space because um, I think the, the, the contribution of uh, the economic contribution, as you put it, of people with disabilities uh, to the country is something that is very, very poorly understood. Um, and I think that is part of the conversation that has to be had nationally in order to, first of all, acknowledge, recognise um, for those that are contrib contributing, um, but at the same time to drive the other debates forward about making sure that as a society we, we embrace and we enable um, all talent, uh, and in this particular case, um, the talent of people with disabilities. Why do you think it's important to have um, somebody who experiences disability themselves to be part of that leadership conversation <laughs> and, and to have a contribution to the, the changing culture that we're going through at Shaw Trust? Oh, I think that's a really easy one to answer, Claire. I think, you know, ultimately, you know, you can anybody can be hugely empathetic and imagine themselves uh, walking in other people's shoes, but ultimately, you know, you're still you're still trying to model it rather than be have experienced it. So the nuances, the realities, um, will always evade somebody who doesn't have that background. It's a bit, I mean, I'll use a I'll use a sort of an an analogy. You know, as a as a previous um, career pilot. I know what it's like to fly. There are many other people who can imagine what it's like to fly, but they don't. They can't really feel it. They can't talk about the nuance and the, the highs and the lows, and and the everyday lived realities. Um, so I think that is absolutely true of those in our uh, that deliver um, insight into our protected characteristics and <coughs> people with disabilities is an absolute is an absolute classic area where. You know, we can be we can be very mindful. We can be very well informed. We can be, you know, uh, absolutely empathetic. But ultimately, that last mile, the mile that might make all the difference, we need people with lived experience. Um, and I think that's as, it's as simple as that. You know, you 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 know, you, despite <laughs> your best endeavours, you never really know unless you you've lived it, breathed it, walked it um, yourself. So I need people like you who can actually tell me really what it's like and what the implications of policy or decisions or structures or all those things that we need to get after.